Hey, welcome back everyone. It's me, Mr. Four Caps Killer. I promised you yesterday that I will do Planet Earth 2 4K UHD Disc 2 Desert video. And it's definitely one of my favorites, second favorite next to the mountains. Even though they're all great, but these are my two preferences that I like to show off 4K UHD and to show off the 4K and I'm gonna show you these are some, the stills I cannot show you the moving picture these are just the stills that I paused uh, and I'm gonna show you some of these stills and then in the next five minutes I'm going to show you the calibrations that I'm using keep in mind these are my own custom calibrations that I'm using so anyway without further ado let's start let me show you the next uh, I'll show you different stills as I go, okay? Here we go. All right, here's another great example of the calibrations that I'm using here, which I will show you to you which, what it consists of. Right now, I will not talk about calibration. I will talk about that in next five minutes after these five minutes of showing you the stills, after those five minutes I'm in right now. Uh, and just look at the desert, look at the shadowing, look at the light. Everything looks natural, man. Everything is detailed as it should be. Granted, they're using 6K cameras. They switch between, I noticed they switch between 6K to 4K and then a little bit to 2K to some scenes when they're moving really fast. I didn't notice that, as a matter of fact. Now, let me show you another uh, still. Here's another great still. Just look at the vividness and detail right here. Uh, just look how far you can see in the distance uh, with this transfer, with this 4K transfer. Granted, this is a great 4K transfer and that's why it looks great. But it also shows you just how good this TV is and what this TV can do. And how naturally it represents the color. The contrast the brightness and this is why the peak brightness needs it's so important uh, and it's clearly shown here why it's so important for HDR especially for a content like this let's switch to the next one here's another great still look at the female lion in a desert uh, look at the background look how much in a distance you can see in the background now some of you will say but you're using a great 4k player well yeah sure this Sony 4k player does help a little bit but at the same time also this TV is the one that truly does all the work the TV represents all the colors the TV represents all the calibrations and temperature and everything so TV is the one that truly makes this look great. Now let me show you some more stills. Here's another great still right here. Look at the uh, female's lion paws. Look at all the detail at the sand, the shadow. Everything is natural and, and that's exactly what you want. This is a natural uh, rendering of HDR. And it looks fantastic. Let's go to the next one. There's another great shot right here. For example, look at this shot right here of the female lion. And just look how everything is rendered naturally. Uh, in the distance, the peak brightness, it's not to the point where it hurts your eyes. It's like a natural peak brightness. Um, and the reason why it looks so great it's also because of my calibration this is why I'm going to show you my calibrations and look at that detail behind the lion behind the female lion just look how beautiful that looks and how detailed it looks it almost looks as if you can touch it it really does it looks as if you can touch it let's go to the next still I think this one speaks for itself um, just look at that. Look at the detail, man. And I'm not even sitting, like, not even, I'm one feet away from this TV, and it looks amazing. 
just simply amazing. Here's another one. Look in the distance. Look in the distance. You can even see the uh, all the heat uh, from the sun that's making it look like it's uh, like they're floating in the water. Uh, that's because of that such heat. It depicts it depicts such heat in Africa in the desert, and obviously, as you can see it right here, it's very vivid. Clearly, you can see that heat right here. There it is. Here's another great shot of the desert right here. Looks amazing. Here's another great shot right here of the lion uh, jumping on a uh, giraffe. Let me give you another still shot. It looks so vividly, so clearly uh, good on my TV because of the good calibration. That's the reason why. But let me show you another still. Look at that. Look at that other still. Look at the amount of, even with fast moving images, the amount of detail that you see. It's like ridiculous. And of course here at the end, the lion cannot bring down the zebra. You know, it's a bigger prey. So let's move on to the next one. And then I'll show you guys the, uh, the calibration. Now here's another great shot of the peak brightness net. This is actually the real lightning. This is not some CGI crap. This is the real lightning that, that hit. This is in Africa in desert. And just look how beautiful that looks, man. It looks amazing. And here you can see where the lightning actually disappeared after it formed. There is another one right here. You can see it clearly popping up, showing up right here. And, and trust me, this looks a billion times better on the uh, in person watching this in person here's another still right here there you have it all right I'm running out of minutes now I gotta show you my calibrations that I'm using let me show you my calibrations right right here really quick all right what I'm basically using is a movie mode the reason I'm using a movie mode because movie mode consists of warm to color and I believe warm to color for Planet Earth 2, it's really good. It gives you that natural tone to it, you know, because everything's outside, you know. There's a lot of sunlight, there's a lot of nature, so warm 2 seems like a perfect color temperature here. Of course, backlit and contrast always has to be maximum. You always have to have backlit and contrast maximum. Brightness, I always feel that 45, it's a good balance instead of just having it 50. So I always felt like 45, it's just right amount of brightness. Sharpness, I felt like 20 could be used here to show a little bit of picture pop out. You know what I mean? To show a little bit more of a vividness. So I felt 20 is, is this is good. This is decent. 20 is okay. You're not going to hurt your sharpness too much by 20 here color I felt to be at 50 because if you go above 50 then you are over bleeding your colors and you don't want to do that you already have HDR so HDR will reproduce those colors okay with a white color gamut so 50 it's fine so I like to keep it at 50 this clean view uh, digital clean view you can turn this off you don't need that when you're watching a high transfer bit rate content like this this is only good for like uh, you know, cable and stuff like that. Auto Motion Plus, you can turn that off. You can have it off. I turn that off. I don't need it. Smart LEDs, they're at high. And uh, Dynamic Contrast, it's at high. And Warm 2 Color. So there you have it, guys. This is what I'm using. I'm running out of minutes. So hopefully you wrote this down. Try these calibrations. And I'm telling you, you're going to enjoy it. Okay? And make sure that you have Samsung KS8000 to do this. Take care, guys. Have a good one.